What is up? This is your LA in a Minute, and there are more than 60 vehicles stolen every day in Los Angeles. That's 22,000 this year alone. And while the number is down since the pandemic, it's the continuation of a trend that has doubled over the last 10 years. So I want to talk about what neighborhoods in Los Angeles have the most car thefts and which have the least. Let's get into it. Huge thank you to the LA Times, especially reporter Ashley on for her analysis here. I'm going to link to her story in my Instagram stories later, so stay tuned. So the 22,000 vehicle thefts so far this year in Los Angeles point to a larger trend. There were about 14,000 in 2013, and the number has steadily risen over the decade, peaking at 32,000 in 2021. And though the overall total has come down, we're still much higher than pre-pandemic levels. Almost every area in Los Angeles has seen an increase in car theft, but not all of them have been equal. The rate of car theft around downtown Los Angeles has quadrupled over the last 10 years. The data showed that the 77th Street Division in South LA, which includes Athens Park, Chesterfield Square, Gramercy Park, Morningside Park, has the absolute most vehicle thefts of any division in Los Angeles. And the greatest singular increase within a division is the Central Division, which includes the aforementioned downtown LA, Chinatown, Little Tokyo, and that division saw a 300% increase in car thefts over the decade. Conversely, the Foothill Division, which includes Sun Valley and Tahunga, is the only division in Los Angeles that's seen a decrease in car thefts. Hmm. The smallest increase is in the Northeast Division, which has seen a 16% increase. That includes Atwater Village, East Hollywood, Highland Park, Silver Lake, and other communities. The most frequently stolen cars are Kia and Hyundai, which make up 20% of all stolen cars in Los Angeles. A significant part of that is due to the Kia Challenge, which showed that you could start a Kia or Hyundai with a USB charger last year on TikTok. Hmm. The National Insurance Crime Bureau says there's no single root cause for the increase, but factors include unemployment, low wages, inflation, higher cost of living. So Los Angeles has more cars than any other city, which does mean more targets, which could contribute to the car thefts. But it's also one of the most expensive places to own a car with the highest gas prices in the U.S. and some of the highest insurance. Again, thank you to Ashley on L.A. Times for excellent reporting. Make sure you check out that story. All right, L.A., it's been a minute.